Alright, let, let's talk about intelligence, right? Now, you may think that intelligence is something you have and you something you haven't got, right? Now, most people believe... Now, here's the thing. Most people believe in IQ, which I don't. Because if you, because basically if you believe in IQ, that means you think that your intelligence is fixed. And you'd be like, no, my intelligence is fixed. <laughs> so, your intelligence is not determined by any grades. Now you may disagree with me. Or by anything that um, actually tests your intelligence. Now, most people would disagree with me because if you think about this, now, how would I, why would you, why you, you would disagree, why would I say that you would disagree with me? Because, you see, when I was little, I was already, I was already, uh, the school already determined my intelligence for me. You know, they put me in the class where they think that they should dumb down the, uh, the you know the knowledge or the uh, I should learn a lower um, what's it L slower pace or something like that no your brain doesn't work like that you see I was put in class where you have special needs for special education you know where they teach you like simple things you see the thing is that they don't get is I wasn't surrounded by Amer um sure I was um, uh, I'm Asian American but I wasn't surrounded by you know um, American that you know speak fluent English. I was for, for um, cause you see, my mother she speak Vietnamese. I have to speak Vietnamese uh, to her. She doesn't speak English. So therefore, if you have two languages you speaking, it's kind of hard to actually speak English with other people. Cause at home all you do is speak another language. Now some of you may relate to me for this because. English is not my, uh, it may sound like I speak, you know, good English or whatever that is. No. See, it's the thing is, most people, most school or teacher determine a, ki a kid intelligence by the freaking piece of paper. I'd rather you judge a kid what he do, you know, what he see with the world. If he's creative, he'll be... He, if he's creative, he could be a, a, a artist, you know, um, music, um, a singer, you know, or an entrepreneur, because entrepreneurs usually are creative. You know? They, um, that's why they have the. Um... Anyway, so in this book, even though I have not finished it, it's um, it's, he's he's one of my favorite author. His name is Brian Tracy. Get smart, right? Now he said, how to think and act like the most successful, highest paid people in every field. Now, see, what is intelligence, he says. Intelligence is not a matter of IQ, grades in school, or years of study. Intelligence is instead a way of acting. This means that if you act intelligently, you are smart. If you act stupidly, you are stupid. Irrespective of grades or measures on IQ tests. What then by definition is an intelligent act? The answer is simple. An intelligent act is something you do that moves you closer to something you really want. A stupid act is something you do that does not move you closer to something you want or even worse, move you away from it. You personally define a smart or stupid act when you decide what you want and what you don't want. As Winston, uh, Winston Churchill said, I long stop listening to what people say. Instead, I look at what they do. Behavior is the only truth. Now, I'm not knocking on anything about school, but it's just that most people still to this day and age believe in IQ. I don't believe in IQ. I shattered that notion a while back when I do, you know, personal development or read tons of books. Now, whether you read tons of books or whether you don't, it doesn't matter. You know, I, there's a story goes, you know, my sister, she actually have a certificate in high school. Now, she felt uh, felt bad because she didn't get a diploma. You know, I told her, no, you shouldn't feel bad. You know, um, my brother was right. She actually did went through all uh, through high school and graduated. I did it. 
I actually got kicked out of high school, you know, for skipping to my school. Um, but that's a whole nother story in and of itself. But I can tell you the reason why is because I felt pressure. I didn't. I felt like I didn't belong because you know my peers were moving ahead of me, and I felt so far behind. And you know the teacher said, "Yeah, that's why you should have you know stayed in school or something." But see, the thing is, you no, know, in school. It's because basically when I was little, I told myself, I wish, um, I want my life to be better, you know, I don't want it to be like that. And all I did, all I see was, it's the same thing over. You go to school, you wake up, you go to school, now you, you know, brush your teeth, you go to school, and then you come back, you do homework, and you sleep and do the same routine again. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not those type of kid who I used to, I'm not those type of kid who, uh, Sometime, but not all the time. Hang out and play around. You know, sometime, not all the time. Now, you may say, wow. It doesn't matter what I did or do, didn't do. It's just, I feel like those things that most people... Like, if you think about what a kid actually wants to do. They want to play. You know, they want to play. They don't want to sit around and actually listen to boring lecture. Though the teacher are kind and nice, it's just that I wish if they put their whole emotion, happiness, they can actually affect the kid. You know, rather than just talking all the time. You know, I had one. I remember I had one teacher in history class in middle school, and he was lecturing the whole time. It was kind of boring, and I was like, oh my god. When will this end? So no, I didn't say that, but I, I just do whatever. Now, here's the thing. Whether you think that you're stupid or you're intelligent, I believe that people who are... Because a lot of... I feel like if you put a label on something, you're going to act a certain way, right? You, be, you basically... Let's say you... Uh, associate yourself with a certain word like you identify you be, it, it become you it, it you become it's become an identity you know whether you say this and that like I'm stupid therefore you label yourself as stupid right you know once you label yourself as stupid and you confirm it to be true that label become your identity it become who you are it become part of you right so therefore when let's say somebody say that you're stupid you confirm it to be true you play a story you say yeah he's right or damn yeah I'm oh, sorry I didn't mean to curse but and then affect you more and it become a self-fulfilling prophecy meaning you're gonna act like that you're gonna behave you're not gonna do your best but let's say if you believe that you're intelligent you believe that you're smart that you have the ability to do things that otherwise it couldn't be done so therefore you associate yourself like a uh, you're smart, you're intelligent, or you understand how the human brain works. Therefore, you have a different concept. You associate a different word or label into yourself. Therefore, you have a different identity, and it become part of you, and it become you know you get it. And someone says stupid to you, you don't actually let it um, into your mind because you know that's not true. They believe that to be true. Like Les Brown said, your uh, other people's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That's quite true. Other people's opinion does not have to be your reality. But yet, so many people let other people's opinion affect their future, affect how they do things, affect their dreams, and affect a lot of things they could have done, you know? No, I believe that whether... See, the thing is, whether you go to school or not go to school, I believe if you act, if you go after what you want, and you actually achieve it and you're happy, now that's intelligent. But if, if you're going to do school, and you're going after what someone told you to do, that's not intelligent. You see, one day you will wake up, you know, they probably have, you know, what's that called, uh, midlife crisis, you know, where you, you lost your identity or identity crisis. You don't wake up and you say, oh my God, I didn't do what I wanted to do. And by then, it'll be too late, you know. But actually, it wouldn't be too late. You still can do it, you know. Look, all I have to say is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what you did in the past. It's what you 
going to do today and where you're going, where you're going to be and who you will become. I'd rather you become something that you wanted to be inside and do something that you want. You know? It's not selfish. It's being truth, tr truly who you are. Because you know, when you're a kid, you have this fantasy that you want to like become a hero or a princess. It doesn't matter. You imagine it. You, you, you act it out in the reality. Yet when time becomes, you know, kid, become adults, their mind is rigid, uh, they, they, they stop having fun. Kids, kids, kids love to have fun. So should we. You know? For me, I'm an introvert, but I love to have fun, you know. Fun is the thing that makes you enjoy life much more to, better. Because most adults, they do not have fun, you know. They got bills to pay, and a lot of things, a responsibility, I get that. But it's okay to have time for yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of your family? How are you going to take care of things that you, um, is, are important to you? So that's all I'm going to have to say today for intelligences. Now, whether you think that you're stupid or not stupid, whether you're intelligent or not, just remember, you have... The ability to do things that ne you never thought possible, uh, ever thought possible, because you can actually create things. You can, like Steve Jobs, you can actually create things, mold things, and and influence out to the uh, world. Now, whether you believe in the truth or not, whether you believe in you know that you have this ability to actually become intelligent, you can actually increase your intelligence. It's true. It's not, and I'm not, uh, what was it, you know, I'm not saying, um, how you said it. When I say you can increase your intelligence, it is truth, because I have experienced it myself. I thought I was stupid, therefore, I wouldn't be able to be smart as anybody else. But over time, I have realized that it's not true, because I have studied on human psychology, no, or not, or psychology, not the mental illness side, but actually our behavior, the brain, and the way how perception works, you know. I actually uh, read how on the human brain works and memory works. Not not like in detail, but I do understand it. And I and I have read all... Now, I'm not trying to boast or brag. See, I was stupid, and I was labeled as stupid, and I was in special ed. So there's no way to determine how smart or intelligent I am, you know. But I read complicated books, and it's, they're not easy to read. And what I found out that it's untrue, you know, most people don't understand that. So today, remember what I will say, today, please get this out of your head. You're not stupid. Do not let the piece of paper determine your future or your intelligence or your smart. Whatever you do, create the thing that you want and love what you do. It's time! I'll see you next time. Oh, subscribe to my channel, like my video, and share this video. I do person. Um, these are uh, I do book reviews, talks on subject that make you become better and grow yourself. I see you next time.